Hello friends, I am back again with the part 2 of the last spring question answers. So, question number 21. Describe the condition of the children in slump as observed by the author. Children living in slums are an unfortunate a lot. Born to destitute refugee parents, they grow up in makeshift sacks with tin and tarpaulin roofs without sewage, drainage, or running water. Struggling for survival in the midst of want and hunger, they take to picking rags at an early age. Next question. What did the garbage mean to the children of Simapuri and due to their parents? What kind of gold did the people of Simapuri look for in the garbage? How do elders and children look at garbage differently? Elders are mature, so they are so they view garbage as a source of survival. The children are innocent and find garbage as gold, an object wrapped in wonder. They search it more for thrill than for survival because they sometimes find a coin, a currency note, or a curio in it. Next question: Why are shoes with a hole? A dream come true for Sahib. The discarded tennis shoes with holes are a dream come true for Sahib because he has walked barefoot and thus values even the slightest comfort. In, condition, in addition, he has a strong desire to play tennis but getting any such chance is unlikely. So, the shoes might at least partially fulfill his dream. What change occurred in Sahib's life? Was it a change for the better or, or the worse? Give reasons in support of your answer. How did Sahib's life change uh, at the tea stall? Sahib took up a, business, a job with a tea stall owner after giving up rag picking. The change brought him an assured monthly income but at the cost of his freedom. His own light polythene bag was replaced by someone else's heavy steel milk canister. Besides, the carefree phase of his life also came to an end. Next question. I go inside when no one is around. Where does Sahib go? Why? Why does he go there only when no one is around? Sahib goes to the tennis court of neighborhood club to use the swing. He goes there only when no one is around and when the friendly gatekeeper allows him. It is so because he does not want to be shooed away humiliatingly by the affluent club members. Next question. Sahib want to, wanted to be the master of his own destiny. Comment. Despite Obje abject poverty. Sahib wanted to be free bird than a bonded laborer. Why? In order to change the situation of abject poverty, Sahib gave up rag picking and took up a job at T stall. But his apparent happen unhappiness as a work bound laborer over there indicated that he wanted to be a free bird and a master of his own destiny than to be a bonded laborer. Next question. Describe the atmosphere in the glass furnaces. How can working there affect the children? Glass furnaces in Ferozabad are ill-lit, ill-ventilated, unhygienic and digni hovels. Working for a long hours in these hot furnaces with high temperature bends the back of the young children, leads the loss of vision at an early age and ages them prematurely. Why does Mukesh's dream of becoming a car mechanic looks like migrates to the author? The author knows that the social and economic conditions of the Mukesh town, Firozabad, has and his own limited resources will definitely obstruct his desire of becoming a car mechanic. He belongs to a family of a bangle maker and breaking away from their hered hereditary profession is going to be a tough for him. Next question. 
how does the ignorance of bengal makers lead to the illegal employment of their children in the glass industry none of the bengal makers knows that it is illegal for children to work in the glass furnaces their ignorance lead to the forced employment of around 20000 children who were made to work in tiny rooms without air or light next question what instances in the chapter reveals that ferozabad is a neglected city dana hygienic garbage strewn streets without basic amenities and the poor working and living conditions of the bengal makers of ferozabad indicates that it is neglected place the involvement of 20000 children in the bengal industry despite a nationwide ban on child labor also reveals the plight of this city next question in mukesh sister is law like different from the that of mukesh no the condition of mukesh sister in law is not different from the that of mukesh this frail young woman that has to shoulder the responsibility of the whole family at such a tender age although she doesn't want in glass furnaces yet she has to bear the burden of household chores with drawn behind a wheel in a hovel like home what has mukesh father achieved in his life despite years of hard and back breaking labor a representative of the underpaid over exploited bengal maker of ferozabad mukesh father has had a hand out to mouth existence all his life despite exploring two professions that of a tailor and a bengal maker he has not been able to build either a pakka house for his family or provide education to his two sons next question how does mukesh grandmother view the family occupation of bengal maker and bengal making and its poverty it is his karam his destiny what is mukesh family's attitude towards the situation mukesh grandmother's view bengal making as the destiny of her family she believes that her husband's blindness their misfortune and this impoverished condition all are predestined she believes that this is god given and cannot be changed she accepts everything silently in the name of karma and destiny next question how does the birth in the caste of bengal makers become a curse for the children birth in the caste of bengal makers has become a curse for the children in ferozabad the fatalist attitude of their parents their ignorance about the illegality of this work extreme poverty lack of education and opportunity keeps them confined within the harsh environment of bengal making industry why are the eyes of bengal makers more adjusted to the dark than the to be the light the bengal makers work inside dark hunts next to the flame of flickering oil lamps their work hours are long and occupy the entire day over a period of their over a period of time their eyes are dark more to be the dumb light inside their dingy work rooms and daylight begins to bother them who is savita will wearing bangles on her wedding day eventually change her life savita is a young girl who assists the elderly woman in making bangles when she grows up and gets married her wrist would be adorned by these bangles but ironically it would be not bring any positive change in her life she too would struggle hard to fight want and hunger next question what has put a stop to all initiative and ability to see dreams why do bengal makers lack initiative at an ability to dream acute poverty ignorance about the law absence of infrastructure and exploitation by the middlemen have collectively killed the initiative of the bengal makers 
back breaking hard work and glass furnaces has killed their desire to dream for a better for future they have accepted poverty as their fate <coughs> next question what is the cry that rings in every home of bengal makers of ferozabad every home of bengal makers in ferozabad rings with the cry of financial depravity that inhibits all alternatives of livelihood in the absence of money the young feel as trapped as their elders they desire to dream of the children of the different life has been crushed by a mind numbing hard work <coughs> next question why are the people of ferozabad averse to the cooperative movement why can't the bengal makers organize themselves into a cooperative illiteracy and awareness and acute poverty have broken the spirit of both the old and the younger generation of bengal makers they fear inviting the wrath of police in case they organize themselves into a cooperative uh, absence of leadership and the nexus of sahukars middlemen and politicians also obstruct formation of cooperatives next question what is plight common to all bengal makers what is the vicious spiral that has trapped the bengal makers of ferozabad the bengal makers have been suffering for generations because of neglect and exploitation they are plagued by the plight of dejected spirits and resignation to fate the vicious spiral that traps them moves from poverty to apathy greed and injustice what according to the author is the child working in ferozabad wait a down under what two distinct words worlds does an jung speak with uh, with respect to children engaged as bangal makers according to the author a child worker in ferozabad is weighed down by the two district worlds the first is the world of his poverty ridden family and caste stigma which forces him to compromise the second is the world of saukars middlemen policemen bureaucrats and politicians who exploits and oppresses him next question how is mukesh different from his peers mukesh is a rebel do you agree give reasons in support of his answer describe mukesh as an ambitious person mukesh like his peers <coughs> is born in a poverty ridden family of bengal makers and he too is compelled by circumstances to adopt his ancestral occupation but he is ambitious person who rebels family tradition he dares to dream of a different life and works miles to train himself as a motor mechanic next question why is mukesh content to dream of cars and does not dream of flying planes mukesh is content to dream of cars because his dream is inspired by the cars that he has seen people driving around flying planes is an instant prospect because he has not seen any planes flying over ferozabad thus his attention is captured by cars instead of planes thank you everyone please like share and comment and sorry for disturbing in between